Well, good morning, everyone, and welcome to Unity of Love and Understanding Circle of Love. Um, let's uh, begin today's service with a prayer. So as we just turn within in this moment, we touch that inner space within us that's the presence and the power and the love of God. It is the essence of who we really are. It is the purity, it's the love, it's the peace, it's the joy that we experience throughout life. When we're conscious, when we're walking awake and aware, and in this moment, we're fully activated. We are awake, aware, and we know that the presence and the love of God is deep within us. And we're allowing it to ex exude itself through us to everyone that we speak to, everyone that we see. So that this day is truly a day that the Lord has made and we will rejoice in it that way. Thank you, Father. And so it is. Amen. Thank you, everyone. Thank you for joining us. Brother Ed, will you uh, lead us in our congregational song? Thank you, Brother Ed. Well, today's reading is again from my, my favorite uh, writer, Dr. Howard Thurman. And, and one of the reasons why this has been uh, so prevalent in, in the readings is because just like in the, in the 1960s, there's a great awakening happening across the United States. And Dr. Thurman was at the forefront of that with Dr. Martin Luther King as his spiritual advisor, with so many others and, and so many things that were transformational during that time. That work continues now. So the reading today, again, is from For the Inward Journey by Dr. Thurman. Not only is faith a way of knowing, a form of knowledge, but it is also one of life's greatest teachers. At no point is this fact more clearly demonstrated than in an individual's growing knowledge of God. It is obvious that in the last analysis, proof of the existence of God is quite impossible. A simple reason for this is the fact that if there is that to which God may be finally reduced, then God is not ultimate. But let us not be led astray by this apparent abstraction. Faith teaches mankind that God is. And that's the topic for today. God is. Just like Dr. Thurman said, it, it's pretty it's pretty impossible to pigeonhole a definition of God uh, because the vastness and all inclusiveness of what God is. So how, how do we do that? You know, with, with everything that we, we feel and sense and know, how do we know what God is? 
and that God is. Well, there's a lot of different ideas. The first one is that, you know, we have to understand that we're not alone. That even if there's no one around us, that we're never alone. And it's a necessity of mankind to know that. And throughout the ages, it, people have absolutely come to that understanding. It's, a, it's something that is more than just empirical evidence. There's a deep knowing. Alfred Lloyd Tennyson said, God is nearer than breathing, closer than my hands and feet. Jesus said that I and this presence, I and the divine presence are one. And enlightenment to the Buddha was this understanding. You know, King David wrote the Psalms and Psalm 46 says that God is my refuge and my strength. We all want to understand that. We want to know that. And it's extremely important for us to believe it and to feel it. That's the way that we have to live our life. It's hard to pigeonhole something. It's hard to, to really put your hand on it and, and grab it. But the thing for me has always been that the energy of love is the evidence of God on earth. When I feel love, there's nothing that I, I can't do for someone else. My potential is just expanded into something infinite. When I receive love from other people, I know that there's a divine connection between us. When I simply walk around in, on the beach, like yesterday, I was, I was at the beach. Uh, I was at a birthday party for my dear friend and uh, the karate instructor here. And I took a walk on the beach. I, I listened to the water crashing. I, I watched the children playing. And I sensed and I felt God in action. I watched the, the, the seagulls and the, the breeze on my face. I knew that something was happening. I've had that same feeling when I, I've walked in the middle of the woods and I hear the birds going and, and you can smell just the, the fragrance of, 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 the, of the, uh, the flowers and the trees. It tells me that there's something far greater. I know that there is a power and a presence that created this universe that is constantly expanding. You know, the scientists believe that, you know, that this may only be one of many universes. That the power that's creating all of this is the same essence that's deep within myself, that's deep within you, that's deep within every living thing that was ever created. We connect to that. When we connect to each other, when we connect to our animals, when we connect to uh, the, the nature all around us, we're connecting to the essence of life that is the creative force throughout this universe. It's unifying. It's uplifting. It's absolutely supporting us in, in our life, life, in everything that we do. So... God is. God is my life, my breath, my everything. I feel it, I sense it, I know it. Can I put my finger on it and say, that's what God is? No. No, I can't. But what I can do, what I can do, 
is I can connect with my fellow human beings. I can connect with all of nature and the animals that are around me. And that connection leads me to an understanding, to some appreciation of the immense power, the immense life that's everywhere present. God is. God is. You know, I've, um, I've had many experiences in my life where I've simply didn't know where uh, what what I was going to do next. Uh, I seemed lost or, or things were lost around me. Uh, I may have lost a, a, a relative or a friend. And, you know, you, you just, you feel like part of you is missing. But when I get still, when I close my eyes and I connect to the presence within me, I know that I'm whole. I know that I'm whole. No matter what's happened in your life, no matter the the pain and sorrow that you've you felt, no matter the losses that you've had, there's something of a wholeness that's always there. I've recently lost a number of friends, uh, a couple to to COVID nineteen. And, and their lives just made me feel like there was a void inside of me. But in reality, I knew I never really lost them. Because life is eternal. It can never, you can never be born or you never die. You may come into this human experience. You may come into this body temple. But it's only a temple of the Most High. It's not the end all and be all. It's a temporary place for us to be. You know, I, every now and then my, uh, my parents come to me in dreams. And they sit and they talk to me and they give me advice. They've never left me. There's some very dear and close people that are deeply spiritual people who do the same thing with me. They've never left me. You know, it, it's that connection that makes me know that there is a power and a presence outside of what I see, feel, and, and, and think I know. And it projects me into something far greater than who I am, far greater than, than the idea of my finite self. Jesus would say, I have myself, I can do nothing. But this power that's within me that I connect to can do all things. Anything is possible. So I've come to a place in my life where even when it appears that there may be a loss or a change or, or uh, a back step, I recognize that that's not really what's happening. That I've never really lost anything or anyone. And that if I simply get still, that connection is always there. So God is. God is the people that I love that will always be with me. God is the, the friendships, the, the beauty that's all around me, the nature that I walk through. God is the, the animals that I play with that I, I get so thrilled about being around. God is the very breath that I take the very moment I open my eyes in the morning and just say, thank you, God. I have another day in this form to express you. And how do I express God? I express God through love, through loving my neighbor, my friends, my family, and people that I don't know, as I would like to be loved. What an amazing feeling, because it's my divine connection. When I do that, anything and everything is possible. 
even those who may not like me, I love them anyway. Because I know underneath anything that they say, think, and do, that there's that divine nucleus of who they are that connects them to me. So let's get still for a moment. I'd like you to, to feel that also. What I'd like you to do in this moment is just close your eyes and breathe. Take a deep breath and just let it go. Just know that with each breath, you're clearing that picture. You're wiping it clean. You're allowing yourself to be fully present with who and what you really are. God. One power, one presence, one life. It's the one heartbeat of the universe. It's your heart, it's my heart. It's the heart of every friend, family member, and living thing throughout this universe. I consciously connect to it now. I consciously allow my soul to open, to lay itself bare upon the altar of spirit. And to be one with the divine. And by doing so, you make everything new. You reconnect to everyone who has ever made their passing. And you actually connect to all the future of who and what you ever could be. There's no time and space in this divine. There's only this now perfect moment. And in this moment, God is. God is the love that's deep within me. God is the peace and the joy and the compassion and understanding that I share with others. God is my life, my breath, my everything. Thank you, Father. And so it is. Amen. Brother Ed, I know you have a song for us. You know, such a beautiful talk, and it reminds me that the world sometimes becomes frightening frustrating it makes us feel powerless sometimes and lost sometimes and it's so interesting that often when we look for refuge we look for it out in the world and in the talk today I'm reminded that searching for that place of refuge is not out there it's the other direction and the wholeness and the peace and the love that we're searching for is not so far away at all
loosely based on the blues. And don't let the sorrow of this world take your hope apart. Let the rhythm of your soul match the beating of your heart. Close your eyes, see what you can find. Open to the quiet. the melody it's not the words it's the vibration it's not the song you thought you heard it's an invitation for you to gather up your concerns Lift them up and let them go. Drop your opinion of what you think you know. And meet me in this moment where there is no space or time. Open to the quiet Open to quiet mind. Come and behold what you've been searching for.
Thank you, Brother Ed. Tana, would you please put up the uh, donation information on the screen, please? This is our conscious giving time right now. So uh, whatever it is that you can give, whether it's a tithe, a gift, or, or just a love offering, uh, it's, uh, it's very important for us right now because it's an opportunity <clears throat> for us to continue to purchase different things for this uh, service, the, the equipment that we need and uh, support each other. So if you would just hold your hand to your heart for a moment. And just know that as you feel your heartbeat, that that heart pumping through you is a sign that life in itself is just moving in a most magnificent way. Not just pumping through your life, but connecting our lives together. Let's bless the gift and the giver and just know that everything's unfolding absolutely perfectly in our lives, now and always. And so it is. Amen. Amen. Thank you. And um, if you would, Tana, uh, would you put up the uh, words to the prayer of protection? Because we'd like to, to do that right now. Okay. And then we'll come back. If you can make that a little bit larger, it'd be great. Beautiful. Oh, it's wonderful, Tana. Let's just, first of all, let's just say thank you to Tana because she's done such a wonderful job with the technology uh, and it's, it's been wonderful. God bless all this technology has just been amazing for us all. So, um, so let's say the prayer of protection together. The light of God surrounds us. The love of God enfolds us. The power of God protects us. And the presence of God watches over us. Wherever we are, God is. And all is well. Amen. Amen. Thank you. So, so before we get to our discussion period, let's, uh, let's just close out with a prayer. And just remember that wherever you are, you know, it's written in the 23rd Psalm. If I make my bed in hell, God is there. Why? Because there's no place that God is not. From a single blade of grass to the very essence of who you are and the far expanses of this universe, God is right there. Fully orbed in every aspect of itself, in you, in me, in everything. So... Let's close with a prayer right now. Father, how great we are. We're deeply grateful for the love, the, the gift of our life itself. To be able to be here and to be awake and aware and to understand that all of life is connected. That God is not someplace up there. That God is deep within us. As the poet said, nearer than breathing, closer than my hands and my feet. The Quran said that God is closer than my neck vein. God is. So it's knowing that, it's feeling that, it's living that truth that changes the way that we see and feel about each other. There are no enemies here. We may have differences of opinions, but the reality is that there is a divine essence, a core of the divine within us all that connects us all together. Thank you for remembering that. And thank you for allowing us to live this life now and forever. Amen. I want to thank everyone who's here and, and just remind you that if you're seeing this on video, that the other half of our service is really about you. It's about the, everyone who is here is, has the ability of then participating at the end of this when we turn off the recording 
in sharing their their insights and 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 you know their their ideas about this topic. So please, if you if you can join us any Sunday at 10 a.m. You can go to our website, unityofloveandyou.org, and you'll get a link that'll bring you to the Zoom room, and you too can participate with us. Okay, so thank you. Have a blessed week, and we look forward to uh, seeing you next week. Okay, thank you, Tana. You can turn off the recording.